Hello everyone, it's Dale here. In this video I would like to show you the fixed volume profile which I developed for the NinjaTrader 8 platform. Fixed volume profile means that fixed profiles get printed on your charts and those profiles get printed every defined period of time. So for example in your screen you can now see 4 hours profiles which means that this profile is printed for those four hours, this profile is printed for those four hours, this profile is printed for those four hours, and so on. The profile I developed has several functions. You can choose the period of the volume profile you want to print on your charts. So uh, this is four hour profiles, but we can go into indicator settings and we can change it into daily profiles. This profile you can see right there is printed for this whole day. If I move the chart a bit, you will see that more daily profiles got printed on the charts. I can also use weekly profiles, so I go into indicators and I change it from daily to weekly. For every week there is a volume profile printed and it doesn't really matter what time frame you use in your chart. So for example this is your dollar 30 minute time frame. So if I change it for example to 60 minute time frame the profiles will stay the same only there won't be as many candles. I can also change it to let's say 15 minute time frame which means that there will be more candles but still the profiles will be the same. In this case the volume profile histogram shows one week of volumes. In this case this profile shows this week. If you are for example more into swing trading we can use higher time frames. We can go for example into a daily time frame and we can print monthly profiles, all right? So if you go indicators, then there are monthly profiles, all right? So those are individual days and those are monthly profiles. For every month, there gets a volume profile printed. This is very useful for swing trading and it doesn't stop there. You can actually change it and you can look into yield profiles. And this is actually very useful if you are analyzing the markets from a higher time frame perspective. What is also very useful is combination of different fixed profiles. So let me go back into a 30 minute chart and let's load second volume profile indicator. You can see that right now I have two profiles and let's say that one will be set for weekly profiles and the second one will be set for uh, four hour profiles. So uh, this is the 30 minute chart with four hours profiles and uh, weekly profiles. All right, every week there goes a volume profile printed and also every four hours there get a volume profile printed. And this gives you a very nice overview of the markets. You see the big picture using the weekly profile and you see the smaller picture with the four hours profiles. If you want to look into some specific area, then you can also merge the profiles and you can merge it with a simple hotkey. So let's say that I want to merge those two profiles because I want to look into volumes in this trend area. This is very simple. You can see that I merged the two profiles basically within one second. You can also merge more profiles. So we can, for example, merge this whole area like this. The merging of the profiles is very handy in my opinion. You can also use the fixed profile with a flexible volume profile. You just go to indicators and you load the flexible volume profile. So in this case I have the weekly profiles and I loaded the flexible profile. This is the flexible profile. 
You can look into specific areas in the chart with a flexible profile. And in the same time, you see the bigger picture using the weekly fixed profiles. You can use the fixed profile for all different time frames and for all different instruments. So let me, for example, show you the fixed profile on the crude oil futures. This is a crude oil futures chart, 30 minutes chart with weekly profiles. You can also merge those profiles as I showed you before. And you can also use the fixed profiles for any other trading instruments like the stocks. So let's now disconnect the current data feed and let's go into the kinetic end of day. And let's have a look at some stocks. So let's say that we will look into a daily chart of Apple. And now we just need to switch from volume calculation type into TPO volume calculation type. The reason is that the end of day data doesn't provide true volume data. So we need to use the TPO. And let's say that we want to print the monthly profiles. All right, those are monthly profiles on the Apple. And you can also merge those. So that's it for the new fixed volume profile. There's a free trial, so go ahead and try it out. I'm sure you'll like it.